Hi, this is Susie Mae Warren, and I'm so excited to be on this blog today. It's so fun to talk to other writers. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about writing historical novels. I love historicals. I love the way that you can dive into the era and really deliver a story that not only entertains and helps people fall in love with the characters, but really educates as well and, and, and gets people into a time that might have been forgotten. I do crazy things when I'm researching a historical and writing a historical, like I get dressed in the right attire, I listen to music from that area, if they have awesome shoes, I might buy awesome shoes and put them on. The key is I'm trying to get it right. So I wanted to quickly give you five tips on writing a great historical, and it's all about knowing your era. That means a research, baby. Now. How do you understand the era and get into the culture so that you can really deliver it? First thing, get books and articles written in the era to understand the lingo, the cultural concerns, the political issues, the religious beliefs, all of the things that make up a society and a person during that era. You really need to get in the head of your character and that means understanding what they would believe and what they would think and what they would um, consider to be important in that era. So go ahead and get those books and articles and read the opinions of the time because that will really start your process of understanding a character in that era. The second thing is rent movies and read books set in the era. Now you can't always rely on other people's research, but you can get ideas and confirm them later with your own research. So it's a great place to start kind of stirring up ideas to figure out what are you going to write on, what tangents are you going to take, what obscure pieces of historical tidbits you're going to put in your story. So go ahead and just pack your library up with all sorts of books from that era. You'll write your own later. Thirdly, read biographies about people set in this time. It's another great way to get in the head of your character by really understanding one particular person from that era. Now, you're not going to copy that character as you create your own, but you may pull things from that real person and, and use things that they experienced in the character that you draw. Also, visit either in person or virtually the area that you're setting the story in so you can really understand the world of your character. If it's a colonial, you know, go to Williamsburg or, you know, some sort of situation where you can really understand what that person's daily life was like. If you can't visit, get travel books from that area. It will make that area come to life and people that have visited or know that area will realize that you have done your research and you know it as well. Finally, listen to the music of the time. I have it playing all the time when I'm writing. Now, I have the luxury of writing in like the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, and so for me, finding music from that era isn't as hard. But the reality is, is that even if you're writing in the 1800s or the 1700s or the 60s, you can also find classical music that they might have played during that time. So you really want to just get into the mood of your character by absorbing yourself into their world. And if you can listen to music, this really helps. So, five little tips on how to really get into the character. Hopefully they've been helpful. I had a great time writing Duchess, my newest novel set in 1930s Hollywood. Such an interesting era. I researched it with my buddy James Scott Bell, who's the perfect Hollywood tour guide, and we went to all these awesome places. So I really felt like I could really write about a character and make her real. And of course, I put it all in the book. So the book comes out soon. Uh, look for it at your local retailers. And thanks for reading. Have a great writing day.